everyone, it is Mishy Beauty and I am coming to you with uh, a video, a type of video that I usually don't do on my channel. Uh, I am going to be unboxing the Allure. It's not going to be a try on. <clears throat> so, sorry, although I have tried on some of these products, I attempted to make a video with this try on products. But there's not a lot here to try on. Um, some of it is um, skincare and things like that. So it's not a big deal. The Allure Beauty Box, I'm sure you've already seen uh, people actually uh, unbox that and try things on. So I'm going to uh, briefly unbox the Allure um, Beauty Box. And then I will, the second half of this video, uh, I don't want this to be long, but the second half of this video, I will discuss some of the ways I am trying to prevent, um, how would you say, contracting the coronavirus or COVID-19 as, as it is medically referred to. So I'm just going to go over some of the ways that I am trying to keep my family safe and keep me safe. Uh, a lot of these things have to have to do with habits uh, that will be forming and it'll probably just have to be a lifelong habit that we have I think that's what's gonna have to happen with everyone they're just this is gonna have to be part of their routine not necessarily what I'm gonna talk about but just in general being um, vigilant about how they take care and clean things around them and when they go out and where they go and things like that. So I'm just going to share some things I'm doing, uh, but let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing part. All right, so I'm trying to keep my spirits up in this time of, um, I guess this time of worry. Try not to get depressed about what's going on. Keep in mind that history can repeat itself it does repeat itself that is what my grandfather has always told me and with things like this this is just a natural um, thing in life where we have viruses come up uh, unfortunately uh, people do get sick and some terminally ill um, but um, everything that I talk about in the second half of this video <clears throat> is not going to totally um, prevent anyone from catching a virus. These are things that might prevent, but um, I might still get sick. Let's hope not. Uh, but these are just things you can try to do. Um, everything that is talked about on TV are things that they want you to try to do. Uh, you must do actually in this time to prevent the spread. So it doesn't mean that you're never gonna get it or you're not gonna get it. So I just keep that in mind. So let's start with the unboxing. Um, the Allure Beauty Box is a beauty subscription. They include skincare and they include uh, beauty uh, as well, beauty products. And this box, I don't know what I have on this, a sticker. Uh, this box is $15 a month. You do receive a uh, small size and some full size. I call them mini. Um, uh, I wouldn't say trial with this box. I would say mini size and a few full size items in your box. And I think $15 is a great deal for that. The products are usually, um, if not always, I would say of good um, value. So I think these products are um, high end products, most of them. Um, so I think it's a great value. So let's start with the brochure that you receive. Uh, this brochure actually um, talks about the product. It has quoting some users of the product. Uh, and what they think about it and it tells you what the full size product retails at. So we're just going to go through some of this, uh, well, all of it, because you get about five to six products uh, in your box. So let's start with this first one I'm pulling out. It is the doctor. I'm sorry, my, I don't uh, know how to, okay. So let's start, let's zoom in. 
All right, this is the Dr. Botanicals Lemon Superfood All-in-One Rescue Butter. Okay, um, this thick balm from Dr. Botanicals has become my everyday savior. Some ointments are so gelatinous that you could barely sp uh, spread them across the skin, but this lotion is creamy. Okay, so this is a, uh, it seems like a body butter. Um, not just for your face. The blend of coconut oil, lemongrass, and antioxidants keeps my skin from drying out. This retails at $14.90. It retails at $14.90, the full size. And this is the size that we get. Let's see. This is the size that we get in our box. And that is a 50 ml, 1.69 fluid ounce size it does yeah it does smell like lemon it almost smells like a lemon cleaning product so guys yeah i do not have on makeup uh, it is early in the morning i do have on maybe some bronzer and a little bit of blush to make me look like i am awake but for the most part i don't have anything on um I am experiencing some irritation in this eye, um, and it could be from the mascara that I tried. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get out this mascara. It's called the Rodeal Glam Lash Mascara XXL. I'm just guessing this is the full size Extreme Black Lash Maximizer for Amplified Volume. So let me go ahead and uh, let you guys see the actual applicator here. It's just your average applicator there. And let's see what this retails at. I don't want this video to take a long time. So I'm not gonna read every single thing, uh, but it says um, blah, blah, blah. Rodeo's Glam Lash Mascara XXL was one of those unicorns, blah, blah, blah. The formula is very inky, so it evenly coats lashes on the first wipe. Building it up is a breeze. This retails at $28, $28. Now I did try this on when I attempted to make the video the first time. Um, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna reach for this too much because I have other ones that I like. Um, and the fact that I got a little irritation, I can't 100% contribute, contribute it to this, but um, I do have to be careful. Um, this is a regular mascara. It's nothing, when I tried it on, um, to me it's nothing that volumizing. I have other ones that I would reach for that give my um, eyelashes more volume. Um, it is thick though, but it didn't look like it lengthened or made more volume to me. Uh, that was that noticeable. All right, so the next thing that I'm pulling out is floss. Um, it is my new favorite lip gloss. That's what this is called. Let's go ahead and see what that, I do have allergies guys, so my voice is kind of weird. Uh, floss, my new favorite gloss. You guys can see. Floss, my new favorite gloss. Okay. Let's see, a few swipes of, of the lac shade deliver a peachy pink hue with just a hint of shine. All right, so it's $16. It is retailing at, there it goes. It is retailing at $16. Let's let you, I know I'm, I seem a little, blurry when I did that but I wanted to zoom in here uh, it is a pinky peach tone <clears throat> the applicator looks like this so the color you see here this is a plastic see-through so it is but when you put it on let me just show you it almost smell or tastes like cake <laughs> So this is what it looks like going on. This, I'm guessing, is a full size product.
and I like it. This, when I tried it on the first time, I like it, and this is going to be something I will reach for. Um, oops, sorry. So, I'm not sure if I told you guys what, what it retailed at. Mm, I think I did, but let's be on the safe side. Retails at $16. The next item that I'm taking out, it's a rather uh, mini or trial size. It is about 0.16 fluid ounces. It's the Mamande. <clears throat> I don't know how you pronounce that. Mamande. It's M A M O N D E. Let's try to find it in here. Okay, so this right here. <clears throat> Let's. Spend too much time on trying to get this focused. All right, what this is is um, she says while in Seoul, Korea, South Korea, or Seoul, South Korea, last spring, I saw ads for Mamande's Red Energy Recovery Serum. I saw it everywhere. She says this is one of the country's most classic brands. Um, it is a recovery serum. I apply two pumps after toner and the serum quickly absorbs without any annoying stickiness. Um, although it takes a couple of weeks for the smoothing and brightening benefits to kick in, my skin instantly looked and felt more hydrated. This is $40, a full size of this. Uh -oh. A full size of this is $40. A full size is $40. I have not, I think I, Put it, I did put it on my face. It is like a thin formula. It does come in a pump. And I do have to, of course, use it a little more in order to speak to um, my thoughts on it. All right, so the next item that I am pulling out is a, looks like a foam of some sort. Let's go ahead and check. This is called the Rituals, it says, it's for your skin, Rituals, the Ritual of Ayurveda, Ayurveda, uh, Harmonizing Foam Shower Gel. So this is a shower gel after working in an office all day and commuting on a train for two hours. I really value my personal alone time. There are days when pretty much all I get is a shower, blah, blah, blah. One pump release, oh, excuse me. One pump release is a handful of rich, thick froth that's enough to cover my entire body um, and make my bathroom smell like fancy Ayurvedic spa that I could never afford. Uh, it is, it says it's Indian rose hip, uh, Indian rose and sweet almond oil okay it's got in it nine dollars and fifty cents nine dollars and fifty cents I can smell it yeah it's got a, a very um, I can't it almost smells like um, tart cherries and rose together so this is the bottle in this um, a small um, bottle you get 50 ml this should actually last a pretty good long time especially if you want to try it I actually might try this today so I will put that aside for that and if I didn't say already nine dollars and fifty cents which is very affordable the last thing that I am pulling out is a face mask a face mask it's called Lapcos Hy Hyaluronic Moisturizing Mask the other one that you could have received I guess it's calling about the lap calling it's talking about the Lapco Ceramide Firming Mask. I did not get this, that one. I, I did not get this one. I got the blue one, which is the one that they are calling Hyaluronics. Okay, so this is the one I have. Okay, and so what are they saying about this one? Um, what they are saying, let me hold this one up, not that you can see it. Um, let's see, I put my skin through a lot lately. This sheet mask got me back to my usual dewy self. It's super saturated and after 20 minutes, my skin was moisturized thanks to the hyaluronic acid. 
and redness had faded. Nice work, Althea Rose Rosea Flower Extract. So this retails at $3, $3. Um, I don't use face masks too much, but I might try this. It says cruelty free, paraben free, sulfate free. Uh, Lapcos Derma Mask Hyaluronic Acid. And on the back, there is, I believe, Korean writing. So um, I'm wondering if this is not a K product or not. So, but anyway, yeah, so I have one of these. I will be trying it. Guys, that concludes. Um, I can't really give you opinion. I did give you a few opinions with a few of the products that I already put on. So that concludes it. I do think it's a good box. Uh, there was a mix uh, of beauty with the lip gloss. No, no eyeshadow, that's fine. Um, because I gotta be careful of my eye anyway. But you had the mix of the mascara and the lip gloss as well as the body uh, soap or foam and the skincare that you received so I think it's a great box I think it's worth well worth $15 and you get a pretty good if these are mini or trial sizes they're pretty big sizes so I like that so let's get on to what I'm doing to keep my family, me and my family safe during this trying time uh, with the uh, unfortunate virus that uh, has come upon us. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, guys, I'm not sure how many times I hit that button, but let's go ahead and get started with some of the products that I'm using inside the house. So these are things that I most recently purchased. Some I already had in my possession and I'll let you know which those are. This kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. You do not need this brand. You just have to look for those that say that. There's others that say that. I think I have one here. Antibacteria. It has summer citrus. It says summer citrus. This is just, uh, I am not sponsoring anybody here, but this is what I use. Antibacterial multi-purpose multi cleaning. Cuts grease. Uh, limited disinfectant. I put, I clean the tub with this. I clean surfaces with this. Um, I, I, there are multiple things here I use in addition. So I don't just use one thing to clean a surface. I use this as well. Um, I also use another disinfectant that says kills bacteria and virus. Uh, this is something I got from the Dollar Tree. You'll see these things at the Dollar Tree, maybe in a smaller size, but they do have some of these products, um, the dollar stores and such. Antibacterial cleaner. Uh, this also has a, a, a fresh citrus scent, it says. Now, this is not saying the percent, uh, but I did grab this. Cuts through grease and grime. So it serves the dual purposes or more multi-purpose. It uh, will clean and degrease as well. Now, right on the... Um, label it's not telling you like the other one did what percentage of viruses uh now i we don't know and i don't think there is anybody that can claim that these products will kill the most recent virus we're dealing with uh but do what you can this is what i do the next uh product that of course now this does claim a percentage here it does say kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Germicidal, germicidal. It does not say anything about viruses, but this is also uh, something that I clean the floors with. I clean more often. I am not somebody that cleans a lot, but again, before I get in the shower or the tub, I will use any one of these. Be mindful what you're mixing. I do not mix bleach and other. Um, I might mix the Comet with it or the Ajax cleaner with it, but I do not mix other. Um, I don't mix these together. It's just the fumes that come from it uh, can be dangerous. So be careful how you're mixing. But these three products I just told you about are used for cleaning, wiping surfaces, especially the showers, 
uh, in the tubs as well uh, when you take a bath and things like that. So, and it's just good for wiping down surfaces. However, I'm sure everybody knows about the um, wipes. This does have another uh, percentage claim on it. Um, it doesn't have to be the brand, but this says uh, disinfecting wipes kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. So this does, and it does have a scent. These are your typical wipes that you see people using. I do not use these all the time because you can go through these quite quickly if you're wiping every single surface. Doorknob handles um, and things that you touch not surfaces with this so much because I have the other products. These type of products are hard to come by now, so I do not go through these every day. I do sometimes keep these in my car as well. I actually, when I uh, am in my car and I come out and then I go back in, before I get out of the car, um, after a day of being out and about, I take that Clorox wipe or I take the other products uh, that I have talked about, not the bleach, but the other uh, antibacterial products I talked about. I will wipe off my steering wheel. I will wipe off most of my surfaces that I touch in my car. So I will wipe that, especially the steering wheel, okay? So that way when I get in my car, I am getting in a car that I know I've wiped down to the best of my ability. All of these things that you're doing is to the best of your ability. That's all you can do. Um, the next thing that I did, and I bought this at a Lowe's here in my area. Um, this is a Lysol. You don't have to get this brand, but again, 99.9% .9 of viruses. This is called Disinfect Max Cover Mist. And this is what this looks like. Now this was, I forgot how much it was, uh, but I went on ahead and got this at Lowe's when I saw it. Uh, guys, don't sleep on Lowe's and Home Depot. They actually um, have some of these uh, products uh, for you. And there's another product that I'm going to go over. As well as they have the bulk of, of paper towels. And, and uh, of course, they don't have it now. It's very thin there. But they, um, they carry the paper towels and the see it's been so long it's the toilet paper <laughs> so they do carry bulk almost like kind of like sam's they carry the bulk they don't have any they don't have any don't go running out to stores they don't have any but they do carry it um and so watch out for when these people get replenished um i'm not sure how long once this um the stores get replenished how long this stuff is going to last but this is great this is a mist i like it i like the way that the spray works it can miss so what i do every two to three days i will mist this over my furniture where we sit the most i will mist the tables the dinner table things like that i will mist it do not get this in your food, of course. You're going to want to move things. Uh, don't spray it in your animals' eyes, things like that uh, by accident. Just make sure everything's clear. Do miss this. I really like it. It doesn't just sit like a... Um, don't hold it more in one area, but mist it over. And so it doesn't sit like some of the sprays and, and it gets wet. This I do like. Um, so the next thing, this is another one. And this is a great value brand. This is an off brand. And it also says uh, fresh linen, lemon and scent kills 99.9% .9 of germs. It does not say virus. I don't know if they're using germs and virus interchangeably here. I'm not sure. But this is just another one. doesn't cost as much as the other one. Um, the other thing that I did get from uh, the Lowe's is this is a... Uh, 50 glove, a 50 count glove box, disposable, disposable latex gloves, okay, natural rubber, snug fit, single use, uh, it says powdered, so a uh, powdered, I think they powder them so they don't stick to your hands when you try to pull them out, but this is what I have bought, the reason why I bought this is because when you go in public places, if you have to go in public places where there are many people touching things, you have 
grocery carts. Um, you have the gas pump, okay? The gas pump. <laughs> I can't stress enough the gas pump. If you can cover your hand with a um, grocery bag, plastic grocery bag, do so. That pump is the most touch area, along with shopping carts. But think about how many people get gas, okay? Think of how many people just don't have time to think about covering their hands. Think about anyone who sneezes or coughs when they're pumping gas, they don't think twice. We don't think about those things. I put one glove on. You can put two gloves on, but to save and not waste, I put one glove on and I pump my gas. Think about not just the pump, but how many people touch the surface when they put in their card information and things like that. That's something to think about. You're not going to see a lot more gas stations with these wipes because I think they're just globally running out. Um, Every once in a while, I'll see a gas station with wipes. But think about that. If you can avoid even touching it, this isn't going to say you don't have to wash your hands because you do. You still have to wash your hands, especially when you get in the house before you touch anything. But this, I think, is very nifty. If you can't find 50 count, you'll find. I don't know if gloves are actually hard to find now. I got this about a week ago. so. Uh, gloves is what I recommend when you're going with the cart. Now, when I went to the grocery store, I had two pair. I mean, I had one pair. I had two on my, my hands, one on one, one on the other, and I was pushing the cart, okay? Um, nobody looked at me crazy or nothing because we know what kind of times we live in right now. So when you go to the grocery store, you know you have. Another thing, I do have a six-year-old daughter. She does not get in the carts anymore. And I'm not going to take time to wipe the whole cart down because if you look at the um, wipes that they have in the stores for wiping the cart down, it doesn't, it's not like a Clorox wipe. It's not. It's not like that. Uh, it's just a wipe. So I do not let my daughter get in any cart. I don't let her touch any cart. And I usually now, I just stick one of her game things in her hand so she's not touching anything just a tip there so that this comes in very handy I can't stress enough the gas pumping either um, this too is a mini travel size it's a mini mouse so uh, this is a, a travel size hand sanitizer I'm low on this hand sanitizer is hard to come by but check your local stores Check your local businesses. Some of them might be making hand sanitizer, which I heard and I do not have. If you want to Google it, if you can find aloe vera uh, gel, that's probably hard to come by now because people know that aloe vera gel and alcohol mixed together could make a hand sanitizer. But it does depend on the percentage of alcohol that that alcohol does have in it. So I couldn't tell you, I don't know if it's supposed to be 90 plus of alcohol or 70 plus, I have no idea. This isn't even 70 plus, but it is hand sanitizer for on the go. We do also have hand sanitizer. This is 70%. It says ethyl alcohol 70. So I'm not sure what that is. You could, this says kills 99% of germs. Doesn't say, this says vitamin E and aloe. This came from the Dollar Tree, I believe a while ago. Uh, we are getting low. There was a local store here that was making hand sanitizer and I ordered two things from them. I'm not sure what their website looks like now. I actually did it a while ago. Uh, a while ago. I did it two days ago, so I'm not sure. I watch the news. I watch TV. I know there is a lot of doom and gloom, but you have to watch it. Sometimes you have to watch the news because they have tips and they tell where people are getting hand sanitizer. They, they have um, advice. So I do. I know it's doom and gloom, but sometimes you have to watch TV and the news to find out what's going on. So, that is another tip, 
kind of watch the news, you have to. I do have rubbing alcohol. It came from a local store here. 70% um, rubbing alcohol. Again, I don't know what the percent is supposed to be. Uh, my husband happened upon this. He was very shocked to find it. So he got this. This is rather large. He got two of them. Uh, we keep one upstairs, one down, 32 fluid ounces. This is a good way to wipe down surfaces as well. Um, I would only do the surfaces if you have things like this, which you have more of, I would use this first. But this, um, you can use to mix in things. If you Google something, you can use this for mixing, uh, uh, trying to make your own hand sanitizer or what have you. But this is just good to have if you have to resort to this to wipe things down on mix. So this is alcohol. Uh, they call this rubbing alcohol, 70% isopryl I never knew how to isporyl isporyl alcohol so yeah just regular sorry I had to run my alarm was going off all right so the next thing now I talked to a lady in the store she worked there and she was just giving me tips on some things that she heard this dial gold is an antibacterial soap okay it's I'm sure they have other antibacterial soaps, but it does have to say antibacterial. Um, this has benzacola chloride something antibacterial, okay? Um, it's for washing to decrease bacteria on the skin. This is not virus, but this is bacteria uh, related. However, antibacterial is what you want. So when you're washing your hands, when you're counting to 20, when you first get in the house and every time you touch something from outside uh, in public, you want to wash your hands. If you don't have to wait until, well, let me just say, this is what I grapple with. Do you wash your hands before you leave the store? Because keep in mind, if you don't have something covering your hands, you have to touch that door handle to get out of that public store. You have to touch it both inside the door handle and maybe the door to push outside of the store if it doesn't have the automatic doors. That's why you can wash your hands when you're in a public place but you're gonna have to wash your hands when you get home. You're gonna, cause it's, it's very hard to avoid touching anything even after you wash your hands. So this dial it, with antibacterial properties, this is what I bought and it's in every bathroom in the house, okay? The guest bathroom and the two bathrooms upstairs. This is in every, and we count to 10 or 20, we count to 20, and then my daughter says the ABCs. Sometimes she says it twice. But anyway, so yes, this is in every house. Now, you can um, wash your hands with regular soap, which is what we had prior to me getting this, but you have to, to, to have it on for at least 20 seconds. You have to lather 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and also, because this is where things get trapped is under our fingernails so you know and they say you got to wash your hands like a doctor which means go up to here and and 20 seconds that's what the doctors do um so that's what i do uh, the other thing that uh, my husband picked this up at the grocery store it is alcohol swabs uh 70 alcohol is is sopropyl alcohol individually wrapped okay so these are just little swab wipes and he got three boxes of these because at the time he couldn't find regular alcohol um, but we have it now but yeah these um, if you want to wipe your skin off with these you can do that these are two ply medium is what they're saying these are alcohol swabs or little alcohol pads little alcohol pads there so we have three boxes of those um, the only other thing that I want to talk about and I also <laughs> heard about Dawn dishwashing liquid I'm not gonna make any claims I cannot and a lot of these things that you hear about are rumors but I heard 
Dawn dishwashing liquid is, is good to wash your hands with. If you have to, dishes, of course, great because dishes have germs and things too. We also cough, we eat, things like that over our food, gets on the plates and things like that. So this, oh, they have a spray. They have a dish spray now. I didn't know that. But anyway, Dawn dishwashing liquid and Dawn Ultra Antibacteria hand, hand soap. This is the hand soap. Two times grease cleaning power. This says hand soap on it. I did not realize that. So now I have extra hand soap. I thought this was for dishes. This says hand soap on it. Hand soap. Okay, so this is an antibacterial hand soap. You can actually, when this runs out, replace it with this. I thought this was for dishes, go figure. But I did grab two of these. Two of these for the dishes. So guys, that is it. That is what I'm doing. Those are the habits that I have. When I receive packages, uh, what I have been doing, I handle them with the gloves I talked about. When I receive packages, whether it be for beauty or otherwise, I handle those packages. Now, no one said that the, the virus is transmitted uh, through mail. However, if you look at the what they're saying, how long these things last on the surface, well, if it if it can if it lasts on the surface, I'm going to handle those packages with care. Um, I put my gloves on. Yes, I do. Um, and I let the male person sit it at the door. I don't take it from them. I don't open the door. I let them sit it at the door. I then open the door, grab my packages with the gloves on my hands, and then what do I do? I come with my cheaper version of the Lysol and I spray that box. And I let that box sit there for five to 10 minutes before I open that box. And when I open the box, I open it with a clean pair of gloves again. I switch those gloves out. Uh, yes, I do. So that's just some things that I do um, um, to prevent uh, and, and care for my me and my family in this trying time with the uh, COVID-19 virus. Um, that's how I handle my packages. And when you are an influencer, you are constantly getting packages. So I think it's very important to handle, if you don't have gloves, if you handle your boxes, please wash your hands right after. Count to 20 ABCs, whatever. Handle your boxes the way that you have to handle your boxes, but wash your hands. And even if I wear gloves to handle my boxes, I wash my hands after that. I do spray it down and I let it sit there for at least five to 10 minutes before I open it. As far as inside the box, I take that mist once I open the box and I mist it over the box. Call me paranoid, this is what I do. Um, and keep in mind, I mean, it's not saying that I'm not gonna get it. These are things I do to try to prevent getting it. So. With that said, that is all I have. I hope you found this entire video useful, um, both the Allure unboxing as well as the things that I do to protect me and my family from the unfortunate virus that we have going on now. So guys, if you found this video helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna go ahead and look at the rest of my videos and figure out if it's a, a channel you wanna to subscribe to, do so. Um, if you want to let me know what are you guys doing, how are you taking this trying time, just go ahead and let me know. I do have a little over 50 subscribers, which means I have around 48 to 50 more subscribers more, and I can do a giveaway. So that's just a note. The more subscribers I get, the more giveaways I do. So with that said, I'll let you guys go. Please be safe. Um, just I, this, these times, I was prepared for this kind of many years ago when my grandfather said history repeats itself. So just please um, try not to hoard because there are people with babies and children and things like that that don't have anything because the neighbor grabbed about 50, <laughs> 
50 um, paper towels and 50 things of um, toilet paper. So kind of try to um, use your manners with that and, and think about others. Um, the correlation, my thoughts on the correlation between uh, toilet paper and uh, the virus, people are trying to figure it out. My opinion is that people know now, oh my God, my kids are gonna be home from school. We don't know how long. They're freaking out because they have these people in the house now where normally they'd be out to school, you'd be at work. Well, then that means that people are gonna be using the bathroom more. And if you are quarantined for any reason, oh my God, they feel they have to have this. Uh, I understand the worry at the same time um, that is not allowing the manufacturer to make more. It is not allowing the supply chain to work. <laughs> so if we just go about our normal day and we don't buy up the whole store, we'd still have a steady flow of product like normal. But because people are buying so much, uh, the retailers can't keep up to manufacturers can't keep up and things like that. So. If we just acted our normal way, we'd see toilet paper on the shelf. But we're not. Human nature is causing pan. You know, this virus is causing panic. Human nature, I understand. So, with that said, I'll let you go, guys. Be safe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.